In this video, we'll take a look at how you can reset your password in the event that you've forgotten it. We'll do this by renaming the utility manager process here in the bottom right hand corner. Normally, you can reset this through advanced options. If you go to troubleshoot, advanced options, command prompt as you can see in newer versions of Windows 10 are locked down and requires you to know your password to get into this, which is no good if you don't know this. And even if you go to forgot your password link, it will tell you that you can only log in with an administrator account which has previously logged into this PC. Now there is a way around this, but it requires you having a copy of Windows 10 to boot into to be able to reset your password. If you don't have a copy of Windows available via USB or DVD, you will need access to another computer initially to download this. To do this, open a browser and type in Windows 10 download. And it's going to be the first link here. So once on the Microsoft website for Windows 10, you want to select the download tool now, which will go ahead and download the media creation tool. So once downloaded, go ahead and run the media creation tool. So once this loads, Windows will now prepare to set up. You can accept the terms. Here you want to select the create installation media for another PC and select next. We'll keep the default settings here so select next. Now we'll stick with the USB flash drive. For Windows you need a USB that has at least 8 gig of free storage. Please bear in mind that the USB will be formatted during this process so make sure you have no existing data on this. Here you can see that I already have a 16 gig USB in my computer so this is what we'll be using. So we'll go back and confirm the USB option and select next. And there's my connected USB so we'll select that and next. This will now start the process to create the Windows 10 media. It will go off and download Windows 10 and verify the download. Once it's done that it will go ahead and create Windows 10 onto the USB. OK, that's now finished and the USB is now ready. And now you can see Windows 10 is now on the USB. Next, let's take the USB and plug it into the computer where you want to reset the password. When you power on your computer, you want to get into your boot manager option to be able to select the bootable USB. Now each vendor has different ways to get into this menu using a key between F1 and F12. I'm using a virtual machine for this demo so F2 is the key I've used on boot to get into the boot manager. I can see the USB is connected to the machine so let's select that and hit enter. Ok so that's loaded the windows setup window so let's select next and then you want to go across and select repair your computer. Once in the advanced options menu you want to go down to troubleshoot and you want to click on command prompt. Now you can see this is open command prompt but as you can see this is from a different location which gives you access. So we'll go ahead and type in disk part and once in disk part you want to type in list space volume. This will show us all the volumes that your computer has detected. Here we're looking for the partition where the operating system has been installed, which in my case is the C drive. Now we know this, let's exit out of this part. Now we'll switch across to the C drive. And then we'll type in CD space Windows to the Windows directory. And CD space System32 to the System32 folder. So we'll rename the current utilman.exe file to utilman.old. Then we'll take a copy of the cmd.exe process and rename this to be utilman.exe. Then exit out of command prompt. Then select continue. So if you go and select the utilman process now, you'll see this will now load a command prompt window. So here you can see a list of all the accounts on my computer by typing in net user. In some previous versions of Windows 10, you can have issues resetting the administrator password. 
So let's go ahead and reset this. If we type in net space user space administrator space star and then enter a new password. I'll just leave it blank for now so you can see it's reset. If you have a username with a space in it, then you'll need to put the username in quotes. I'll go ahead and reset the laptop password as this is the account I normally use. And again, I'll leave the password blank. Okay, so now that the passwords are reset, I'll enter a blank password for the laptop account. And you can see this lets me back into my Windows account. Don't forget to follow the same process to rename the files back to normal which you can do so by following the commands shown. This is assuming your operating system is installed on the C drive. If it's not, then adjust the commands accordingly. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more tutorials.